Hello everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a double mod review for you guys. Um, first thing we're going to look at is this fine looking vehicle right here. This is the Kenworth 900B Multilift or Multilift version 1.0 multicolor truck. Now this thing looks fantastic and boy can it move. This thing is the power on this is 515 kilowatts and 700 horses driving this so there's all kinds of power oh, I just noticed the Toyota plates on it cool pretty sharp looking in blue I must say I love the uh, nice shine of it, the chrome I'm gonna go over to my tool so we jump inside and take a look at what this thing has to offer first of all you notice the universal spinning on the bottom nice nice animation on the smokestack as well Okay, I think I will take you guys over to the shop with me and we will have a proper introduction to this. Now, this is our Kenworth. Like I said, it's, oh, I didn't tell you the price. It's $200,000 and 150 a day for maintenance fee. There is your 515 kilowatts of power and 700 horses. And this thing is... Um, yeah, this is an IT runner. It's designed for the IT runner. I thought it was just your basic semi before with a tri-axle. You'll notice there's three axles in the back. Yeah, I thought this was just a normal semi, but it is an IT runner. But it has a fifth wheel attachment for tippers. So you can do either or, actually. So I thought that was kind of neat. Back to it. Okay. Just going to grab my keyboard because half these functions I don't have programmed in. Now, you'll notice X extends your arm so you can pick up X retracts again. Okay, if you press Z, it puts the overload symbols on in those little flags. So you'll notice them in the front and you also have it in the back as well. So you have that. Um, fifth wheel trailer is J. Now watch right in the middle on the back there. You got your fifth wheel. That's where you can hook your tipper if you need it. So you can just toggle in between that and just stow it when you're not using it. Um, your tri-axle. Now it looks like that third axle is up off the ground as it is. Now when I push it it's going to uh, it's going to go up even further. I thought it would come down but let's take a look. See it goes right up inside that wheel well and back down but not a big deal it's pretty cool okay what else do we have the jake brake i will show you when we start driving this thing that's basically another braking mechanism now it's an engine it's an engine braking mechanism what happens is uh it opens the exhaust valves in the cylinders and releases releases the air in the cylinders allowing the vehicle to slow down now what that means is you'll see when I go right now I'm trucking along when I stop just your basic stop now when I switch that I'll press keypad 7 now you'll notice down in the lower right hand corner right above the orange fuel bar there is a green symbol there that indicates that my jake brake is off at the moment now if I press keypad 7 it's going to turn yellow and now it's on low it's set but it's only set on low so now hear it you hear them on semis all the time going up the highway when they're coming off the ramps and stuff but so that break that basically is a brake that helps you out it probably saves wear and tear on your regular brake so and so that is set on low and if I hit the number enter on the number pad it'll put it in the red and it'll really kick in now watch when I slow down now oh cool I was just noticing the uh, reflections in the back of the, of the fuel tanks there that's awesome man so yeah there we have that what we're gonna do is we're going to jump inside and I'm going to show the interior first though 
Let me get rid of this. I'm going to show you that all the lights work. Beacons are fine. Um, lights work fine. Press it again. You get even more lights. Uh, horn. Horn works great. I noticed there's a little bit of a glitch on the wheels. I got it. It's not a big deal. Just flickers a little bit. And also, I don't know if I mentioned, if you press M, you can change your tires. Now, they look more, way more monsterly. Yeah, they look cool, nice and shiny, but these look really cool. I like that. Okay, guys, interior view. Now, this is, <laughs> this is very impressive. I'm amazed by this. Now, I don't know if there's any other semis around with the same interior that they just took it from, but I'm very impressed with this. You don't see brown interiors too much. And uh, just the layout of this cab, it's very American. It's not all crunched like uh, the way some of the European trucks are built. But there's not much of a view out the back here. But uh, very good interior, man. It looks fantastic. You can't open the doors or anything from the inside, but that doesn't matter. Looks great. You can see your speedometer works and everything on the inside. So you even got an Alpine stereo. Look at that. Sweet. Okay, jumping out. We are going to take this guy back over here where I have some other guys set up already. This is kind of taking pics from my thumbnails. We'll go to the second mod. Obviously, you know, the second mod is going to be that scoop, but I'll go through that in a minute. I'm getting piss poor frames here, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, X. We'll bring back my hook. I'm going to want to back into that. Now you don't need the IT, it would benefit if you had the IT runner uh, DLC pack, but you could still use this without it. So you press Q to hook on. Are you going to let me hook on? Let's go back the other way. Okay, we better bring our screen back up because it's not allowing us to hook up here. Probably because we're not very square with it. Let's take another little run at that. There we go. And pull them up. So he wasn't really meant for that. It looks, still looks cool, but he would look better with that semi hooked up there. So let's take it for a drive and see what kind of speed we can get from this. My Jake brake is set. If that noise just gets on your nerves after a while, you have to do is shut it off. So, we're not getting a whole lot of speed here. I might hit up about 50 kilometers, but let me try turning the Jake brake off and see if that has a difference in it. Enter. And 7. There, it's off. Now, let's see if we can get a few more. No, I don't know. You're looking at a boat. No, it's going to pass that. Okay, yeah, it does go faster without the Jake brake. But, oh yeah, much faster. I think it'll go 100 kilometers if I read that properly. I just kind of remember now. So, that is pretty cool. Now, I just want to, before we go down to the other half of this review, I want to review... Because here is the bucket I'm going to be reviewing. That big bad boy right there. I just want to get, show you guys the difference in between these. I'm sure most of you know. But I just can't believe the difference in size. size. Okay, you can tell the smallest one is for your front loader. It's just a small bucket. That one holds 1,860 liters. Now the next one over is for your telehandler. That holds 4,500 liters. Now the next one over here, this is for your wheel loader. This is going to be your largest one in the vanilla version. And this holds 6,400 liters. Then we got this guy. Now, this guy is the Kyosho, or Kyoshu, extra extra large wheel loader shovel. File size is 134 kilobytes, very small file. The price in the shop is 4,600. And it has a $7 a day maintenance fee. But get this, guys. It holds 10,000 liters. 10,000. That holds 6,400. 
this one, the next one down. So this almost holds double what that one can hold. So just wanted to give you a size comparison. Just look at the jump in that. It's unbelievable. Now what we're going to do is take this guy for a drive. Let's go in the cab. We'll go cab view. And we're going to bring him down to BGA where I have a little setup to demonstrate our shovel. To the BGA we go. Okay, I'm going to jump back out for a minute. Beacon's on. Yeah, definitely, definitely nice mod. I was pretty impressed with this. So you get another truck to use for your IT runner now. You don't have to just use the uh, the hookups they have in the game, which it's always good to have more options. Could have just jumped over to it, I suppose, but. Oh, okay. At least I get to see how this thing handles on the road. Now, I don't think there's anything there that I'm forgetting to show you. I showed you the fifth wheel attachment, so you can hook a tipper to this. But one problem you're going to run into, guys, is because of the tri-axle, your tipper's not going to turn too well. Like, you can attach it, and it'll still pull everything around, but it's very sloppy because your, your tipper's hitting the, the frame of your of your truck here so I will demonstrate that right after this I could have just jumped over to this guy but I wanted to uh, take this guy for a spin so this is what the scoop looks like hooked up to the telehandler <laughs> look at the size of it look at this thing now it makes it a little bit more comprehensible that this is extra extra light so you know because it's made light it can hold a lot more weight so that would cut down on the weight that's for sure so let's scoop up 10,000 liters worth of silage and sell it so yeah there we go 10,000 liters coming at you now let's take a look at what this looks like from the interior this should be good for a laugh oh, not too bad I thought the bucket was going to take up like the whole window yeah, it'd be fun driving down the street with this. Okay. I'm a little bit far away from the mic, guys. I hope that's not too low when I, when I finish. Okay, let's dump this guy in and see how this... Th yeah, there's the, uh, the last one I was using. So, if you're going to have to use the bucket method, I highly suggest that you get this guy because he's going to make life a whole lot more easier bring you all the way up sir back you up a bit let's take a look yeah the bucket's so big that's as high as I can reach it but I mean there you, there you go I just got sixteen thousand dollars for that one scoop let's do one more and then I'll jump over to that and demonstrate what I was talking about as far as the tipper goes another ten thousand liters Thank you. Man, that bucket's massive. Look at it. Man. It's like, <laughs> it looks really funny looking down on it. It's humongous. 10,000 liters of scoop, guys. If you're not too big on the, on, the, uh, on the conveyors, this is a very good option for you to use. at a hundred million dollars yeah I obviously cheated there <laughs> I just pop some money in guys so I can just get this machinery all wrapped together here so there you have it once again it's let me get over to where it's the Kenworth 900b multi-lift version 1.0 multicolor truck and this scoop shovel whatever you want to call it is the Kyosho extra extra large wheel loader shovel 
All the information will be down below, guys, as well as the link. I hope you enjoyed this mod review, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.